Hi friends, today we will discuss about flagella staining. So what is a flagella? A flagella is a long structure that helps a bacteria to move. So this long structure is made up of microtubules. So in staining these flagella, we can understand the presence as well as the arrangement of flagella in a bacteria species. So, for understanding the presence as well as the arrangement of flagella, we stain the flagella. So, to understand the number as well as the arrangement of flagella, flagella staining is done. These are the different arrangements in which a flagella is arranged. First is the pola, also known as monotrichus. Here, there is only a one flagella arranged at one end. Next is Lophotrichus. Lophotrichus is a test of flagella that is arranged at one end. Next is a Peritrichus. Peritrichus is flagella arranged all over the body. Next is Amphitrichus. Amphitrichus is flagella that is arranged on both ends. So, flagella staining is done in understanding the arrangement of flagella on a bacteria. The flagella is too thin structure and since it is too thin, it is difficult to visualize using a normal field microscope and ordinary dyes, that is the ground scene or the symbol scene. So using these techniques, we cannot visualize a flagella. And hence, we need a special technique for visualizing the flagella. And this is the wet mold technique. And using this technique, we can understand the number as well as the arrangement of flagella on a bacteria. So this staining technique uses a model. And model is used so that it can adhere in the layers of the flagella. And hence, it can be visualized. The modern is used in flagella staining so that the modern can increase the thickness of the flagella. Since the flagella is too thin, it is difficult to visualize and by increasing the width of the flagella, we can visualize the flagella more easily. For this purpose, we use the modern. Now, let us discuss the procedure of flagella staining. That is the wet mold technique. First, we have to grow the organism. That is, the organism is grown at a room temperature on a blade agar for a period of 16 to 24 hours. Now, take a microscope slide and put a small drop of water in its center. Next, Dip the inoculating loop into the sterile water. The loop full of water is now allowed to touch near the margin of the colony. In doing so, the bacteria swim to the droplet of water. So the droplet now has bacteria in them. And this loop full of motile cells are added to the drop of water on the slide. So the slide now has the motile cells. Now cover the slide with a cover slip. After which you have covered the slide with a cover slip. Immediately view it under a microscope under a 40x to 50x. If motile cells are not seen, do not proceed with the staining. If you view the motile cells, leave it under the room temperature for 5 to 10 minutes. And this would allow the bacterial cells to either adhere to the cover slip or the glass slide. Now, gently apply a room flagella solution to the edge of the cover slip and this helps the stain to move by capillary action and this helps in mixing with the suspension. So 
Now the suspension is mixed with rules flagellar sting. And after a five to ten minutes, examine the cells under a microscope. The cells with flagella are observed under 100x microscope under oil suspension. So this is done in the zone of optimum stain concentration. So the interpretation or the result of a flagella stain is that the presence or absence of a flagella, the number of flagella per cell, location of flagella per cell that is pericricus, lophotricus, pola and also the amplitude of wavelength whether it's short or long whether or not it is stuffed. So these are the interpretations done by a flagella staining. Example 4 pericricus flagella is Astrachia coli. And example 4 pola is Pseudomonas aeruginosi. And example 4 negative result is Klebsiella pneumonia. From this diagram, it is clear that the flagella of a bacteria is being stained. And in staining the flagella, we can identify the number of flagella as well as the arrangement of flagella on a bacteria. So for this reason we does the flagella staining. For more such videos do subscribe to our channel. If you like the video please like as well as share with your friends.